It's a graduation present for teenaged Kaylin Falkenberry. But instead of getting a car or a trip to Hawaii, Kaylin is gliding through the flooded Okavango Delta hunting Cape Buffalo. The abundance of game, and especially buffalo, draws another rival hunter into the Okavango. You know, we had those lions on those buffalo the one day, and uh, I think that was the day we actually never saw buffalo. Um, and those lions were pushing and pushing the buffalo, and we were behind the lions, but uh, they kept those buffalo way ahead of us, and we never caught up to them. We're gonna have to walk through this water, so just you gotta be really, really quiet. Got a good wind though, so it'll cover a lot of our sound. Let's go slow. Yeah, 
want the fourth or fifth one on the left. Is that the shot you want? Good shot. Hit him hard. He's down. You'll see him down. He's right there. Him. Come on, let's get up on him. Move up. <laughs> Stay with me. Yes, sir. Stay with me. Another big boulder. This one's not dead. Come on, we gotta get up on him. Might have to shoot him again. Shoot him on the shoulder. Right on the shoulder. Good shot. That's a beautiful buffalo, Kaylin. That's the one we've been after for about five days now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking him up close, he's a lot better than I had imagined. Jeff says he's the uh, one of the biggest bulls he's seen. And I'm definitely proud of proud of my shot and proud of the bull and fantastic hunt all day long and it's been eight great days and couldn't have asked for a better time. I tell you what, this is worth crawling on your those thorns, hands and knees. <laughs> Saying every curse word in the English yeah. dictionary in my head. Bleeding <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Much bigger than I imagined. <laughs> well that's gonna be the last buffalo shot to here in the NG29 and up the Don't Well, this hunt has uh, got a lot of special meaning for me. It's Kalen's first dangerous game animal, a Cape Buffalo. And uh, about a week ago, we were informed that the government had decided to go the protectionist route as opposed to sustained uh, conservation, which we've had in these concessions for the last 15 years. As far as we know, there'll never be hunting taking place in these concessions again. I think that true hunting is real conservation, that people don't realize is that overpopulation is just as a problem as having too few of a species. And hunting in Africa, hunting in North America, wherever you go, it is beneficial to the ecosystem and as well it's a great experience. She is a real hunter and has a real respect for the animals and I'm very proud of her for that. She has a, a lot of passion about sharing her love of hunting with her schoolmates and she's always the first to stand up for the conservationist rights. In fact, that's possibly where she may be headed in a career. So this is going to be the last buffalo taken by myself uh, as a pressure hunter in, in Matsibi and NG29. More than a buffalo, this is a symbol of hunter-based conservation. Without hunters to control its game populations, and to supply much needed funds for its wildlife department. The future of the Okavango as one of the world's true wild places and home of dangerous game has been put into question. And only time will have the answer.